everybody it's Christina here welcome back to my channel so I'm actually in the process of getting ready for work because I'm start I'm gonna start another long night but thankfully we get a break after this week so I'm excited for that I just need to brush my hair I always brush mine in the shower, and then I brushed it while it was still wet, but once it dries, it kind of wraps again. So just making sure I brush out all the rats. I think you have to a long day. My dog is in here. What are you doing in here, buddy? You're never in here. Not when your daddy's home. I think I'm going to just wear my hoodie because I don't really care about dressing up. <sighs> Let's start raining because it's raining for a minute. You know what? Oh, so I did, um... I did comment the wrong color. This is called Underage Red by Kat Von D. And I know there's been a lot of drama with her. I got the color on sale when I bought it. So that's really the only reason I bought it. I'm too tired to function right now. But right now, I have a lot of things I actually need to do at work. I just, I don't want to do it. I just don't, I don't feel like doing it. Guys, I was, I was cleaning this office, and this is old, very old. Sorry, dog, this is nothing important. But I found my liquid suede cream lipstick and subversive socialite I forgot all about this color or this lipstick I used to have so many of them oh it stinks they stink to high heaven um this is definitely expired since I bought it literally like three years ago four years ago maybe even longer than that so I know it's expired. Um, but am I going to throw it away? Probably not. It's a pretty, pretty purple. I would swatch it, but I know if I swatch it on my hands, I'm never going to get the color to come off. And then if I swatch it on my lips, it's the same thing. I'm not going to get the color to come off. And I'm not, I can't seem to get this one on. Perfect. So... Definitely not going to swatch that. Cause, so, I got contacted. Um, I thought I had messed up on my timesheet. So, I asked for it back. And this was all Monday. I'd asked for it back. And uh, I heard no reply. I heard no reply. Well, this is Monday of, like, last week. So, I um, on Friday, I told my supervisor, I'm like, hey, I haven't heard about that. And then I haven't had my mailbox set up so I told him that and I couldn't get a response so we emailed her and she's like oh I've already approved it the thing is I know she's seen my email asking her not to on Monday but she approved it on Thursday so she's like you're gonna have to fill out the paper form well I said um she sent that to me Friday afternoon which I was done off work so I wasn't gonna answer and then she um she sent it today which is Monday she got my um, big boss involved and was like, hey, you need to send her your leave form. But they wanted me to do it all on paper. And I was like, no, there's no mistakes. No. Which, honestly, I had kind of, it was kind of on me because I just thought I had made a mistake. But I didn't. I just kept overthinking my hours. So... But 
still, the fact that she couldn't be like, hey, can you send me this? She had to get Zane in on it. Which Zane is my boss. And... I don't know. I just think it's... That whole situation is just... It's very irritating. Because, like... I I am I can get why she's mad. I got her in trouble, but also for things that she should have never told me. And that was on me. I shouldn't have told him what they were saying about him. It is on me. I can say, but like, not owning up to what you did. There's something wrong with these people. And it, if you hear my daughter, it's her bedtime, she's trying to go to bed, so. Oh, guys, okay, so I need some book recommendations. Um, I need you guys to start, I know that is, commenting some of your favorite authors and books, and I'm going to read them. We're going to have a discussion because I just, for the first time, read Me Before You. And it broke my heart. Because I've never seen the movie. Like, I've seen clips, like, from the trailer. But I've never actually seen the movie. And boy, did it pull on the heartstrings. And I do like about that book how, um, you know... It, it seemed like she was getting through, like she was going to change his mind, but then he didn't. So, I mean, it's, it's nice to know that not everything in a book, we don't always get what we want. And, you know, he did leave her some great surprises, which were awesome. I'm so very happy. It's such a good book. Very, very hard heartfelt my next one i don't know what will be but i will pick it out and we'll have this little discussion so tell me what you guys thought about um me before you or you before me whatever it is what is that book i honestly don't know where i put it it's right here somewhere I may have put it in my back room because it's not one that I've, I had bought like months ago. It's not really one that I've read so before. And honestly, would I read it again? Probably not. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and go. But I will update you later on what I decided to read and we will have a chat. See you guys later. Bye.